Well, an interesting thing about astronomy software is that amateur software, stuff that the folks typically hear about, like Starry Night, is the stuff that you end up having to pay for, and it runs on Microsoft Windows. Well, the stuff professionals use, as it turns out, is mostly free, and it's Linux-based. Now, Linux is an alternative operating system to Microsoft Windows. It's, it used to be something that's strictly for computer geeks like myself, but these days it's something that the average person can download and install and get it up and running on, their, on a computer by themselves. They don't need any special help. So, what I'm going to do tonight is talk about professional astronomy tools for the citizen scientist, where you can get it, what the capabilities are very quickly, very briefly. And uh, if we have time for questions at the end, I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. So, first off, I'm gonna, what I'm going to talk about is, in particular, is a Linux distribution called Distro Astro. Distro Astro has, it is a, essentially a Linux distribution put together by professional astronomers that has a whole bunch of astronomy tools bundled together with it. And that's going to be the focus of the talk. So, what it looks like is this. You install it on a computer. And what you have is you have a start button that looks just like Windows, or at least used to look like Windows. These days, Windows 8 is something else, and it's not all that friendly. It's not selling too well, from what I understand. But Linux gives you back your familiar start button. And when you click on it, you see all the programs that you can use from the computer. Now, the first thing that you would like with a the computer that you take out to the field with you is the ability not to be blinded or lose your night vision. Well, this Astro has that capability. You can switch it to a night vision mode whereby it displays everything in red and you're not blinded. So now you have the capability to use your computer out in the field. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is give you a real quick rundown of the programs that are in Distro Astro, what's there, and I don't have time to go into the capabilities of each program, other than just give you a quick thumbnail sketch. So, first off, let's talk about within this from Astro what's called the Indie Library. The Indie Library is a set of drivers, essentially, things that allow you to interface the various kinds of hardware. Now, for those of you who have go-to telescopes, this might be of particular interest, because if you can plug your telescope in the computer, the Indie Library, chances are to talk to that telescope and allow you to control it using the computer. But it's not, it doesn't stop there. It also allows you to control observatory domes, focusers, filter wheels, even has a cloud sensor. It allows you to have support for imagers. And I have tested it a little bit. It works with standalone professional and amateur video cams, webcams, that type of thing. Finally, you need client software to talk to, to to talk to the Indie Library. The Indie Library allows you to talk to the hardware, but in turn, you need something to talk to the Indie Library. Well, the Distro Astro supplies that. If, for example, is a program called Zephyr, which I'll cover briefly toward the end of this talk. Now, what kind of software, aside from the Indie Library, is in Distro Astro? For one, it's Solari. I'm not going to go into it in any detail. Tomorrow night, there's going to be a full our talk about Stellarium, but essentially it's desktop planetarium software. What it allows you to do is to see what's actually up in the sky as a piece of desktop planetarium software should do. It's free, it comes with Distro Astro. It's also, by the way, Stellarium is available for Windows, not just for Linux. And it's also, I believe, there's a Macintosh version of it as well. So rather than go and shell out money for Starry Night, if you don't want to do that, which by the way, it, that is a nice program, I'm not dissing it here, but I'm just saying, if you'd rather not spend your money, well then go get Solari and go to the talk tomorrow night about it. Now, another piece of software, which unfortunately I was, did not have time to get a live demo of it to get a screenshot for you, but it's called WX Astro Capture. It allows you to capture the video from any video cam or cameras that you have hooked up to your computer. So you can capture it, save it, there you go. Registax. Registax is included with Distro Astro. Registax is considered by some people to be the most powerful astrophotography image processing program out there. 
Last year at Stelfane, there was a full hour talk on Registax. There's no way in the few minutes I have I can even get, begin to get into the details of it. But suffice it to say, if you're serious about astrophotography, Registax is a program well worth taking a look at. That's another one, by the way, that aside from Distro Astro, there's also a Windows based version of the Registax. Again, it's free software. Just go and get it. Google these programs. If you don't want the Distro Astro, the whole bundle, Google these programs individually and you can find the websites for them. If there's one of those versions of them, you just download them and install it and away you go. Now, in astronomy, we have different coordinate systems, right? We have alt azimuth, we have uh, celestial latitude, longitude, we have right ascension, declination, and sometimes we need to be able to convert between these different systems. Well, there is a, free, a calculator program included in Distro Astro that lets you do that. Now, if you want to know what's going to go, what's, when a meteor shower is going to appear in the skies overhead, Distro Astro has a program to predict that for you. For example, if you, I live and come from Syracuse, New York, all I have to do is give it my location, my latitude, longitude, and I can choose the per size meteor shower, which will be displaying the sky shortly, and it will actually give me an indication of what I can expect to see and when I can expect to see it. Visual, virtual moon atlas. For those of you who would like to explore the moon, especially for anyone who works with children, wants to get them interested in astronomy, the moon's a great place to start. The Distro Astro has a great moon atlas program that helps you explore the moon. If you want to predict the positions of satellites over the Earth, G-Predict will help you out with that. G-Predict is a powerful program. For example, if you want to know where ISS is at any given time, G-Predict will tell you where over the ISS or where over the Earth ISS is. For example, when I did ran the program, it was at this position over the Earth. Next up is Zephyr, and this will be the last program I talk about from Distro Astro. Zephyr is a quirky Somewhat clunky because it's a very old program, but it's only still under steady development. It is very powerful, even though it's somewhat quirky and clunky and it takes a little bit of effort to learn how to use it, it's probably worth that effort. The head of the local astronomy organization I belong to is the one who put me on to this program. It's one of his personal favorites. Zephyr can do a number of different things. It can work as somewhat as planetarium software, it can do control of tele go to telescope for you, etc. So to give you an idea, I set my location to Springfield, Vermont. I set the time, all that stuff, and I hit the update button. Like I said, it's a little bit clunky. You don't get as much automation of this program as you might otherwise like. But here's what it can do. Under the view menu, let's, you get a list of options, including Saturn. So I choose Saturn, and what I see is the tilt Saturn with the tilt of the rings as it currently is relative to my position on the Earth. Not only that, it shows me the moons around Saturn, which is, doesn't look real good in this slide, but there's a one, two, three, etc. in Roman numerals. Now, here's an interesting thing. How many people have viewed Jupiter? You see the moons around Jupiter, but you don't know which moons they are. This program can tell you because these moons are shown at the point in time where you are on the Earth for the time and date that you are doing the observing. So what you do is you choose under your view menu, more info, and what it will do is next to the Roman numerals, it shows you the names of the moons. So if you want to know where, say, if you're doing this for Jupiter, you can know where Io is. In the case of Saturn, you can see where Titan is. And here is the sky view from the Zephyr program. It's like a planetarium. Again, you can do various stuff with it. By the way, you can do animations and other things with this program. It, again, is very powerful. <laughs> finally, uh, well, not almost finally, there's a lot more to this Distro Astro than I have time to talk about. For example, for anyone that wants to build model rockets, well, there's software in this thing to actually help you design and build a model rocket that. There's a gravitational simulator. There's a tides prediction program. There's more planetarium software and just Solarium. 
There's more image processing software that just registers. There's a whole slew of programs. There's a sky chart generation program, etc. The list just goes on. I mean, if, when you download this for this thing, you will be amazed at how much is actually there. Finally, how do you get your hands on it and how do you run it? Well, the way you get it is you go to www.distroastro.org. If you don't remember that, just Google Distro Astro and that will get take you to the website, no problem. Now, what do you do when you actually get to the website? Well, to actually get Distro Astro, you're going to download a big what they call ISO file. For those of you who are familiar with all ISO files, you burn CDs or DVDs with them. This is a big one. It's two gigabytes in size, so you're going to have to burn it to a DVD, not a CD. How do you actually run it once you create your DVD with this thing, after you download and create a DVD? Well, there's a couple different ways. Keep in mind it's an alternative to Windows. You install it, it takes over your computer. It will wipe out Windows if you have Windows on the computer already. So let me give you some options so you don't end up destroying your Windows install and think, okay, what did that jerk tell me about this program for? <laughs> All right, few options. Number one, one that I don't list and I don't think you should try, which is why I don't list it. I'm just gonna verbally say, don't go for dual boot. Dual boot is, for those of you who know computers, you've probably heard of dual boot. It's tricky, and with Windows 8, it got a whole lot trickier yet. Avoid dual boot. Don't even get into it, it's asking for trouble. Now, if you're a computer geek like me and you understand virtual machine technology, a way to at least try it without wiping out your Windows installation is through a program called VirtualBox, which allows you to take an operating system, an alternative to Windows like DistroAstro, and run it on your computer effectively alongside Windows without wiping out Windows and without the danger of dual boot. VirtualBox is a safe way to set up Distro Astro just to look at it. Another way to run it is to what they call live CD. Now in the cases, with the case of Distro Astro, you download it, you burn it to a DVD, you now have a DVD with it. What you can do is you can actually put it in your computer, boot your computer off it, and then you can actually run the operating system Distro Astro directly from the DVD. And it will work just as if you would install it to the computer, and it's a good way to just try it out, again, without messing with the actual software that is already on the computer. Finally, the best way to do it, in my opinion, the way I did it, is go get yourself an old laptop, because it's probably something you don't want to take into the field with you. Go get yourself an old laptop, there's various ways to do it. Amazon sells them for less than like 100 bucks a piece, you can buy an old Dell. You don't need anything special. This software runs very economically on hardware. So all you have to do is get yourself an old laptop, go ahead and pop the DVD into it, and make sure, by the way, the laptop does have a DVD drive, that it's not CD only. Pop the DVD into it, and then follow the instructions on how to install onto the laptop. It'll just wipe out whatever was there, it'll install Distro Astro, and you'll have access to all this great software. All right, any questions? No? Okay.